What's up everybody? Good morning. Today is day three of a challenge that I'm hosting. It is a seven day zero processed vegan challenge. Uh, we had almost 1500 people sign up for the challenge. It's been a blast so far. So today's day three. So I figured I would shoot a what I eat in a day video so that you guys know what I eat during one of these challenges on a typical day. So it's been a while since I've done a what I eat in a day video and I'm eating super healthy right now so I figured why not show you guys. So I just woke up, it's right around 8, I'm gonna do a little meditating and journaling and drink like a liter of water and have some fresh fruit and then head to hot yoga at 9.30 and then after that I'll probably come home and make a smoothie. So um, yeah, I'll just update you guys every time I eat today. I'll usually um, record a lot more in these what I eat in a day videos throughout my day, but I'm pretty busy um, hosting this challenge. I'm live streaming every day and all of that stuff. So I'm really active in my challenge Facebook group. Hey monkey. Um, so I'm just gonna keep this video kind of short and sweet, but yeah, I'll just show you guys everything I eat today. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. All right, so I just got ready for hot yoga and there's monkey. Monkey, say hi. Monkey, say hi. You want this opened? There you go, bud. There you go. <laughs> anyway, so um, I just got ready for hot yoga and I poured myself, like I always do, a giant liter of water with a half of a lemon. Make sure you're using organic lemon if you're putting the whole thing into your um, water. Otherwise, you're just putting like pesticide soaked fruit skin into your water, which is kind of gross. I'm having half of a lemon in my liter of water. I'm gonna drink that entire thing before I go to hot yoga. And then I'm also eating um, a half of a personal little watermelon. Shaboom. So I'm just gonna eat that before I go to hot yoga. I usually like to eat like about an hour before I go. Um, and if I go, I just like to have like fresh fruit and like the juiciest wateriest fruit the better because I sweat a shit ton. It's a 75 minute class so I'm gonna snarf this down. I'm gonna drink that water and go to hot yoga and I'll just update you guys the next time I eat something. Alright well I just got home from one of the hardest hot yoga classes I've ever taken. It was a 75 minute hot vinyasa class which I try to take every Tuesday and Wednesday but today was super hard working on a lot of arm balances and stuff like that so it was amazing but I sweat a lot so I'm gonna continue drinking another liter of water. This is my third one. I drank like a whole one during and after um, hot yoga. So I'm gonna drink another liter of water um, with lemon and then Casey just made French press coffee. So um, yeah, a lot of people during the challenge aren't going to be having any coffee at all, but I am. Some people are trying to do tea instead or other things like that, but um, I am just trying to stick into my routine of the way I do things and how I get my work done and stuff like that. And right now I just feel good if I'm having a little bit of coffee and I can get feeling energetic on my live streams and all that stuff. So um, I'm having some French press coffee with a little bit of like a little splash of homemade cashew milk creamer that I made. It's pretty much my cashew, cashew milk recipe, um, but I just make it like kind of thicker. So I add just a little more cashews, a little less water, and then it's kind of creamer status. So we're gonna have coffee and creamer, and then I'm gonna probably make a smoothie in a minute and eat some breakfast, because I'm starving. All right, so I'm finally eating breakfast. Um, I think it's 1 p.m., to be honest with you. <laughs> but I've just been doing a bunch of stuff in my challenge Facebook group. I've been making sure that I'm responding to comments and getting ready for my live stream and all of that stuff. So. I'm just finally eating breakfast. It's like one o'clock. Um, so I am about to live stream in my challenge Facebook group. Um, so I'm gonna eat some breakfast, the late breakfast, um, before that. So I am super energized. So I just made my cookie dough ranola recipe from my ebook. It's super good. Um, my ebook's on sale right now for five bucks. So if you go to kristenemily.com and click on vegan starter kits, just use the promo code HEALTHYSUMMER 
during checkout and you'll get 50% off my ebook, so it'll be five bucks. And there's uh, tons of healthy recipes and um, everything's vegan, of course. Everything is zero processed. It's all delicious. And then there's two weeks of meal planning guides and shopping lists and everything to go with it too. So this is a cookie dough ranola from my ebook. I also have this recipe on my YouTube channel as well. So go check that out too if you just want this recipe. It's super delicious. It's just a few ingredients. It's like oats and coconut shreds and dates, a lot of dates and cinnamon and I put some allspice in there and a little bit of salt and that's all I put in here and then I just loaded it up with like a bunch of strawberries and bananas and some chia seeds on top and some hemp seeds too so that's what I'm eating for breakfast slash lunch slash whatever it's so good this is one of my favorite like summertime meals because it's like eating oatmeal but it's not hot and it's like supposed to be 100 degrees here today and I went to hot yoga for 75 minutes this morning so it's like overnight oats but kind of instant and more sweet because there's a lot more dates in there so it's nice and filling it's gonna fill me up before my live stream um, and yeah I'm gonna snark this down and then I'll just update you guys next time I eat something else all right you guys so I'm eating again it's 5:47. I live streamed in my challenge Facebook group and I got some other work done and now I'm gonna go hang out with one of my best friends while she gets ready for Burning Man. Um, so before I go over there, I figured I should eat something. So just in case she has like some delicious, she's vegan too, but just in case she has some sort of like vegan deliciousness over there, I'm not super tempted to try it out because I am doing this zero processed vegan challenge this week. So I made one of my favorite things ever, a burrito bowl. So this thing's pretty big, this bowl's pretty big. And I'll tell you everything that's in here because it's so delicious. So um, I made some brown rice um, in my instant pot and I usually just keep a big batch of that in the fridge. And then I made um, some black beans in the instant pot too. And then there's romaine lettuce and corn and salsa and avocado and this yellow stuff that kind of looks like mustard is the vegan boyfriend cheese sauce that Casey always makes and it's on my blog. It's also on my YouTube channel. So if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a video called vegan boyfriend mac and cheese. It's the cheese sauce from that video that this recipe is based off of. And then some cilantro on top. So nice, delicious, healthy burrito bowl. Uh, I'm stoked on it. Mm. And everything's cold because it's hot out. So it's just so good. Mm. Prime time summer food. If I wasn't doing the zero processed vegan challenge, I might even put like tortilla chips crumbled on top, like a taco salad, but this is pretty good. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm also going to have one of these because I'm not drinking this week, but these LaCroix kind of make it seem like you're drinking. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna have one of these. It's an apricot one. So the only thing that's in these is carbonated water and natural flavor. So they're a lot better than booze for you. So um, yeah, like I said, I'm not trying to drink on this challenge, so I'm gonna have one of these um, with this burrito bowl. Um, I've been drinking water throughout the day and stuff, as well as always, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Anytime you're doing a challenge, and anytime really, water's good for you, so. I'm gonna eat this burrito bowl, um, and I drink this LaCroix, and then I'm not sure if I'll eat anything else today. Uh, I feel like I might be hungry later, but I guess we'll just see. So if I eat something else, I will just show you guys, and if I don't eat something else, then um, I'll like do a little outro later or something. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this burrito bowl and I'll just see you guys next time I eat something. Okay, so it is 10.23 at night and I just got home from hanging out with my friend and I'm kind of hungry. So I didn't eat a lot today. I went to a super intense hot yoga class 
Um, I'm kind of tired and I might fall asleep like kind of soon, but I'm like hungry so I'm gonna eat something. So I made um, some of that ranola that I made earlier. I just mixed it with some chia seeds and some more of that homemade cashew milk and then just put strawberries on top. Um, so just kind of like a little dessert. So I'm gonna have that and I'm just gonna continue to drink some more water and then I am going to go to sleep. What monkey? Do you need something? Monkey? <laughs> it's probably gonna scratch at that. Monkey, you have everything you need. You have your food. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you guys liked this video. Again, it was just like a short little what I eat in a day video just to try to like show you guys what I'm eating on the challenge without vlogging in between so it can kind of be shorter than some of my other ones. But I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I will be doing another one of these zero processed vegan challenges soon. So if you're interested, then um, keep an eye out for that. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, join my How to Vegan Facebook group, and you will definitely find out about it then if you follow me. Um, and then I just started a new Instagram called Zero Processed Vegan, so go check that out too. And if you use the hashtag Zero Processed Vegan, then you can be featured. So yeah, it's super exciting. So yeah, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet as well, and I will just see you guys in my next video. Peace. Where's my hair? <laughs> Gross. Um, yeah, it's still there. <laughs> um, ew. Gross hair.